just two could cost up to $400,000 games according to some guy. The console's hardware will not be a revolution. Of course, it wouldn't be to a surprise that the console isn't revolutionary, as it would just be a continuation of the Switch. <coughs> Kind of like the PS2, PS3, uh, PS4. And what can you innovate? You can, uh, oh, you go to AR games, uh, VR games, but most people are not going to buy that, okay? I know you have these post-human, you know, enthusiasts saying, we want to live in a VR society, but it's just not going to happen. We're not going to have Sword Art Online and Ready Player One, Okay. You know, everybody that lives in a VR world, okay? You know, there will be people who are addicted to that, but <clears throat> there could be a little upgrade to the revolution. Of course, the Tokyo-based consistency film, as well, of course, we know, the, the sweats, you know, pro, you know, that was all, you know, never fake, never surfaced, okay? And the sweats already was released, instead of the so-called sweats too. According to people that the Switch 2 will be a hundred more than the original Switch, it might send bells and whistles to the device. The guy is not saying there was no two separate consoles or one doesn't have it as well, which one's the one's the digital only. So this guy is not is the is going against the older rumors as well. Also, the games unfortunately will be thirty dollars, which won't make anyone happy about that one. You know, how are these games so likely to come in? The $30 price points and do normal triple A titles. Thank you, Sony. <laughs> Me. But again, definitely take this rumor with a grain of salt, obviously. <clears throat> you know, take take any Switch 2 rumors <clears throat> with a grain of salt because Nintendo has not confirmed anything related to a Switch 2. So yeah, that's about this video here. Goodbye.